Hey everybody, welcome to the OC Body. I'm your host, John Spencer Ellis, and I have a great guest, fitness guru extraordinaire, <laughs> Jay Blemick. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. You laughed when I, when I said that, but I mean, it's really true. You have really done some tremendous things in the fitness industry. In a little bit, we're going to talk about what you're doing with Nike and Apple, which is unbelievable. Really proud of you for that. It's very cool. Uh, but first, I want to make sure that people know about you and kind of your, your journey. Um, tell us how you got into fitness and what's happened. Well, I feel like I have the luckiest job in the world because I get a chance to do what I love every day. But um, I've been in the fitness business for about 20 years, actually 20 years this month. And uh, I started off as an athlete all my life, but uh, went through college thinking that I was going to be more in the health education arena because I really thought that was someplace I could make a career for myself. Instead of being in fitness, I thought this was a little more legitimate. And then realized really quickly that the health education arena is interesting, but it's really about kind of um, after you're sick, how do you take care of yourself? And I really wanted to be on the side of helping people um, get more out of their life before they had any injuries and illnesses and things like that. So I really gravitated more towards fitness. And uh, been fortunate in the last couple of years, I've had an opportunity to work with some really big companies, Nike, Nautilus, and, uh, and the like, and developing programs for instructors and trainers and also for the consumer. And it's been, it's been a great journey. So you and I do the same thing in the sense that we train fitness professionals and work with the consumers. How is your time divided now? It's probably about 50-50. So I spend a lot of my time still speaking to trainers and speaking to instructors about new programs, new techniques, new things they can do to make their, their training with their clients and their students more successful. But I'm spending a lot more time now working on products that go directly to the consumer. And one of the things I'm finding is that most consumers simply find exercise too complicated and scary. And there's a huge opportunity for um, trainers to go into the market and helping make consumers feel less intimidated by exercise and be more motivated to do it because they're really confused. Well, your program that we're going to get to in a moment is really solves that problem. Now, when, when you are instructing the instructors, training the trainers, uh, what, what can people expect in the next one, two, three years in the fitness industry? Well, w one of the things I always try to hold firm on is, um, you know, there's a lot of people in this industry that know more about the exercise science than I do. There's a lot of people in this industry who have more experience in public speaking than I do. But one of the things I try to do when I'm speaking to the trainer or speaking to the instructor is try to take a concept that might be a little complicated and show them how to make it simpler for them to communicate it to the person they're working with. Um, because at the end of the day, if I'm a student or a client and I've got one hour to work out or a half an hour to work out and I've got to spend it with you, the trainer, I need to be motivated and educated, but it's got to be done in a way that is interesting, fun, sexy, and keeps me on track. And I think we sometimes tend to overcomplicate things in the fitness business. And so um, everything I'm working on now is to make things easier, simpler, more fun, more energizing, and uh, more motivating. What is the one excuse that people use not to exercise? Well, um, I think this is universal because I know I deal with it. Even though I like fitness and exercise, everyone's dealing with a time issue. And more than ever before in the world, we are all pressed for time. We're spending more time in our cars, more time at work, um, trying to find time to spend with our families. And so what gets squeezed out is fitness and exercise. And I think one of the things people don't realize is that you don't need an hour or an hour and a half to work out. Right. You only need 10 minutes. And in the process of trying to find an hour to work out, you might blow by Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but if you just did 10 minutes, you could get in 50 or 60 minutes in the course of a week in a much simpler way. So it's a big initiative for me. The thing is that people, everyone has the same 24 hours. That's what I say. I, I don't have 26 or 28. I, I, I wish I did, but it's not the case. Everyone has the same amount of time in the day. And really it's, it's how to maximize that time. And the programs that you've developed teach people how to maximize their time and maximize the benefits and really increase the level of fun as well. So I, I, I commend you for that because that's really well, what's... Thank you. What's, I appreciate what's, that. It, I think it's been something that has um, eluded us perhaps until now. And um, so after the commercial break, uh, we're going to talk about your work with Apple and Nike with the Nike Plus program, which um, I just think is just awesome. I love integrating technology with fitness. It's, it's, that's part of my passion. So stay with us after the commercial break. Jay's going to talk about this incredible program that will benefit you for your walking and running program. Stay with us.